themselves look like this. <laughs> a donkey. A certified donkey. Because they are not the same name. We know through etymology, looking at the name, what it means. That they're not the same name. And again, I'll just show you the spelling. Because we see Yod, Hey, Wab, Shin, Ain. This is long form. Yes Yehoshua. Then the short form is Yod, Shin, Wab, Ain. Even the Greek, um, sorry, the Arabic Christians, they use the same letter you can see. Yeah. But when it comes to Isa, the Ain has come to the front and it becomes very problematic because it means it's not from the same root. And this is why Amadida thought that the name Jesus would have been given in Hebrew was Esau because there is no etymology, etymological reason why his name was spelled that way. So now, when we look at it, look at it, Allah is the all-knowing God. He told Mary and Joseph a name in Hebrew, but yet he cannot translate it into Arabic. It seems very strange because the name seems to be translated phonetically. That's why it sounds like the Arama Aramaic, but what would we expect of someone that a uh, prophet that who was classed by Muslims as illiterate. Someone would hear something phonetically and spell it. So I was doing my research and it says um, teachers have problems with children spelling. And it says if you want to teach children to learn to spell, teach them spelling not phonetics. Children will not automatically learn to spell if we focus on teaching phonetics, says Morgan Dixon. We need to explicitly teach them spelling patterns. And then they say children were spelling words exactly as they sounded with no sense of whether it should be written in that way or not. So that we have to ask ourselves, why does Allah spell like a child? Because Allah should not spell phonetically. We know, yes, it sounds like the Aramaic, but it's not spelt the same. But when we looked at the Aramaic, they pronounced it Isho and Yeshua, but yet they kept the spelling the same. So this is problematic. An all-knowing God doesn't know, doesn't know how to spell the very name he gave to Joseph and Mary. So now it's a linguistic conundrum. We look at some people, they say, some scholars, they say, this the peculiar spelling of Isa still remains something of an enigma. But the most plausible explanation is that it comes from the Isho, the Syriac name for Jesus. And we see, again, the same thing, Sidney Griffith. Of the many explanations for the form of Jesus, his name, as it appears in the Quran, the most reasonable one is that, derived from this writer's point of view, is that it reflects the Arabic speaker's spelling of what he hears in an Arabic articulation of the common East Syrian form of the name Isho. So why would Allah be taking what he hears when he's the one who gave the very name to the